All right, here with University of Minnesota Duluth head men's basketball coach Matt Bowen. Uh, coach, got your first game out of the way, not the result you're looking for. Uh, tell us about your club's performance today. Uh, it was pretty disappointing, to be honest with you. I, I didn't think we played very well on either end of the floor. Um, left a lot of opportunities out there, and uh, you know, you give credit to Parkside. They made some shots at, at some difficult times, which kind of took the air out of every run that we had. But um, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement for us out there, and we'll just have to do a better job next game. Uh, you guys pulled ahead there late and briefly in the second half and saw you dissipate them. How much more difficult does it make it for your team to play from behind the majority of the game? Well, it's it's frustrating because it, you know that that shot that Saffold hit really took a lot of energy out of us after you know finally getting ahead after one point after playing almost 35 minutes. Um, you know, in the end, we we had um, only six assists and um, didn't move the ball, missed a lot of open cutters, and then missed uh, probably 10 plus point blank layups and. When you do that, you just don't give yourself an opportunity to win the game, and um, that's kind of what the position we found ourselves in today. Right. On an individual level, uh, Jake Hottenstein, 22 points, five rebounds. He's obviously going to be counted on as a leader this season. Uh, what do you think about his performance today? Well, we need we need some people to score the ball, and Jake is certainly uh, capable of doing that. And uh, you know, it's it's good to have a high leading scorer, and, and uh, you know, Jake did a good job with that tonight. And uh, we'll have to we'll have to certainly find a way to get him more opportunities and get. Uh, you know, more baskets with assists. That's uh, that's to me the most glaring thing about uh, kind of how we played tonight is uh, to have 22 baskets, only have six assists. It means we're we're missing cutters. We're not seeing the ball. We're not rotating the right way and, and getting things to where we need to get to uh, to be successful. So, it's a it's a learning process. It's a new system for these kids. It's going to take a little bit of a time, and uh, hopefully we'll just see a lot of improvement from week one to week two.